<laughs> so you, you get the guy who uh, who talks too much, almost almost invariably in that situation, the woman is a quote good listener, even though inside she's getting sick of him, almost disgusted <laughs> with him, <laughs> and trying to be polite. Don't right. try to be polite, but be considerate, be kind. So recognize in most cases when a guy's on a run-in sentence, it's because you're a good listener. You have to become a little distracted. Don't ask more questions. His job, if I had men here and I was on a dating call with teaching men how to date, I would say, men, you need to ask more questions. Questions like, help me understand that better. Tell me more. What else? But see, the men are not listening here. It's mainly women. So how do you get them to stop talking? Stop asking him questions. Show a little interest. And also express a different point of view. You are different from him. We're all different. We think differently. Don't hesitate. That's called people pleasing. It will sabotage your enjoyment in the dating process and the potential of finding the right person for you if you're looking for a companion in life or a life partner. So that's the key there. Stop asking questions and interrupt. If he's talking too much, you find a moment where he said something and there's a pause. At that moment, you can even say, hold on, hold on. What was that you said? I think what you just said is da, 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 da. That makes good sense. That's really a good idea. Or wow, that's so interesting. I had never thought about that. And then share whatever you want to share about your life, what you think, how you disagree. You can do that. That makes the attraction greater is authenticity. To reveal your true self, what you think, feel, want, wish, need, all that good stuff, but it never works to reveal that stuff if behind it is you're arguing, you're trying to manipulate, you're trying to change, you're trying to make his point wrong instead of like, well, that's so interesting. Uh, I'll give you an example of that real quick is what I practice trying to be a loving person and an open person is watching in the news, although I don't watch that much, both the people on the left and the people on the right. How can you hear both sides without getting upset with them? That's a talent. And if you have love in your heart, and that's what we want to develop, you know, as we get older, we should find wisdom. And wisdom is the ability to synthesize opposite points of view. That's one aspect of wisdom. And I even read a research study done about 15 years ago, and I still can't find it anymore. So excuse me for quoting this, but it was there. And it said that the brain was growing in people. The the brain continues to grow beyond 50 and 60 and 70 through the ability to synthesize opposite points of view. It's wow. literally, we are designed in order to integrate our different points of view because we have enough self-esteem to do that. You know, younger people, when they hear another point of view, they're still trying to prove themselves. So they want to push to control. They have not such good self-esteem. So let's come back, let's find our wisdom and practice it. And you can do all that in dating. It's really quite fun if you just use it for that purpose.